Hi, this is Damage Guy, and um, today this is the part two of the stochastic calculus using Ito's formula. Um, well, basically, before you continue with this video, please refer to part one of the stochastic calculus, whereby I explain on how to um, derive our dxt, which is the stochastic differential equation, given our xt which is in the form in terms of t and zt when zt is actually a standard Brownian motion. Well, so stochastic calculus using Ito's formula goes like this. Let yt is equal to a function in terms of t and xt, whereby, TX, uh, whereby xt itself okay, do contains your um, standard Brownian motion. Then this is actually the formula of your differential equation for yt. dxt square is basically the square of this function in terms of t and xt and you put a dt behind. So how do we use or how do we apply Ito's formula to solve problems? Okay so basically we have a problem below. Uh, okay basically we got this is a differential equation. Uh, of xt, a stochastic differential equation of xt, and this is yt. And you are asked to find y is dyt. So the first thing you'll need to do is to convert all xt into x. Okay, so in this case, you will use yt is equal to t over x. Okay, next thing, find your okay your um, ft x sorry ft t x t f x t x t and f double x t x t so what does it basically means so basically means okay what does all this three means okay so this basically means that you take this function or you take yt and you differentiate in terms of t. So it means basically means that differentiate respect to t of t over x and that gives you 1 over x. Well, fx t x t, this basically means that you differentiate respect to x, okay, of your this function t over x which actually gives you negative t over x okay and last but not least your this f double x t x t basically means that you differentiate twice okay with respect to x of the function t over x okay so that this will gives you your this is actually equivalent to this because you differentiate once. So it gives you negative t over x and this is basically t over x squared. Okay, so the next step, which is the third step, you use the Ito's formula and plug in okay, your, the relevant ft, um, x, fx and fxx into the formula okay so we recap the Ito's formula is actually dy is actually this whole chunk okay okay so this is the Ito's formula okay so basically the idea of solving this question is actually find all your relevant terms you need to find this find this find this find this and find this okay and plug it into the Ito's formula so now we have already found one is my ft fx and fxx we just plug in the, into the formula first okay the next thing that we'll do is that okay when we are plugging the ft and fx and fxx we will change the x into xt well the difference is xt it just means that your random variable at time t as compared to x which just means that it is a random variable, okay, without taking, taking into consideration of the time. So, uh, in this case, my ft itself is 1 over xt, 
dt plus my fx itself is negative t over xt dt dx sorry dx t okay plus half of this which is my t over x squared dx t squared okay so after we plugging this this and this the next thing that we need to do is to find my dxt as well as the dxt squared so the fourth step okay well the fourth step is actually to find my dxt and my dxt squared and substitute into Ito's formula okay so my dxt basically is given in the question so my dxt itself is actually 2 e to the power negative 2 x xt dx dt minus xt dxt so basically let me just copy down here this dxt is equal to 2 e to the power negative 2t xt dt minus already xt dxt okay but what is this dxt squared is it the square of this no, the answer is no. So given the Ito's formula, the Ito's formula says that your dxt squared is equal to the b squared txt dt. So what does this b squared txt means? So this actually means it is a the square of okay this part here. So in this case whereby your question, your example itself is dxt is equal to this whole form, this whole thing is actually your b t x t okay so basically you just need to square this x t you will get your d x t square and you put a d t behind so your d x t square is actually equals to your x t square d t okay finally we will start into the ethos formula so basically we will just copy this whole thing and we sub in our d x t as well as our d x t square so, of course, you can actually um, gather all the dt terms together into one side and all the dxt terms into another side. And here you go. This is how you actually solve a um, stochastic calculus problem using Ito's formula in this case.